What's up everybody? My son is almost 8 months old now and instead of having a dad bod, I actually look better now than I have in several years. So what changed? Let's start with a little story. I recently put up my gymnastics rings and did a rings workout for the first time in 8 months. I posted a video on Instagram showing part of this training and said it's my first time putting up the rings since being a father and that I'm glad I haven't lost any of my ring skills. People thought that I hadn't worked out for 8 months, so I had to clarify that I've been strength training pretty consistently all throughout. Just not with the rings. So I wanted to share how I maintained my fitness with an infant, despite getting very little sleep for more than half a year, I maintained my strength quite well, and my physique kept improving. So let's dive into what I've been doing, shall we? For my first two months as a father, I barely did anything physical save for a little bit of yoga here and there to reset my body because I really wasn't sleeping more than three hours at, an, at a time and it felt impossible to get anything done. I was just focusing on supporting my wife and son as best as I could. And even though I've always worked from home, I quickly realized it was impossible to work from home now with all the constant interruptions and distractions. So for the first time, I had to actually separate work from home to create the proper conditions for being able to get anything done with good focus. All I needed was a space for my desktop computer and dual monitors. Office spaces were extremely expensive and co-working spaces were ideal if you only had a laptop. My father gave a great suggestion to ask all the local businesses behind my apartment if they had an extra room that they weren't using. I went one by one and this one shop had a back room with some space and I ended up subleasing just the back corner of the back room. The best part of this is that it's just a 10 or 20 second walk away from my apartment. So if my wife needs me, I could easily run back in. So after the first two months as a father, I started training again. And I started training my upper body with my two favorite antagonistic exercises. Weighted chin-ups at home and decline pike push-ups when I'm at the office. The decline pike push-ups were actually done in the parking lot of my office space with my feet on a chair and my hands on the parking cement block to have more range of motion which was actually insanely perfect. I used the landmark on the ground to always place the chair according to this spot so that I could maintain the intensity I want. So anytime I wanted to take a break from my desk, I would go and knock out a set of these push-ups. For more info about this exercise, I urge you to check out my comprehensive blog post on how to do pike push-ups with perfect form and setup. The link will be in the description. Now, when I was at home, I would put my dip belt on to do weighted chin-ups. At first, I noticed I had regressed a lot since I hadn't maintained my strength and had to go back to doing them with just 25 pounds added on. But after a few weeks, I slowly progressed to doing 5 sets of 8 reps with 35 pounds, which is around 20% of my body weight added on. I would aim to do 5 sets of both of these exercises 2-3 to three times a week. But of course there were some weeks where I could only do it once a week, and that was enough to never regress. I also didn't do these exercises back to back in any isolated structured fashion, meaning the session was spread throughout the afternoon where I could rest anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes between sets. Oh, and I wouldn't necessarily do both push-ups and chin-ups together, nor on the same day. It was more so about what was practical depending on where I was. Now for cardio, I would go play ultimate frisbee at least once a week with a local group at the park. If you don't know, this is a super fun game that I started playing at the end of 2023 multiple times a week. It's a no contact sport which is great because the risk is less and it's basically like the rules of American football but with the fast pace of basketball and it involves a ton of sprinting like a soccer game. And lately I've been working on sprinting drills a lot to get faster which feels really good when you run so fast that your hat flies off. 
This game also allows me to get sunshine, fresh air, and it would be basically the only time that I could play barefoot, which was great for keeping my feet resilient. Other than that, I would also ride my bike occasionally for running errands, which feels fun and it's always a very nice change of pace. And last but not least, I would try to attend a yoga class once in a while to wring out my body and reset my mobility. By the way, someone recently told me that they only slept six hours the night before and they asked me if they should still train today. My response was that I haven't had six hours of sleep for more than six months and I'm still training. The body is way more resilient than we give it credit for. And studies constantly show that exercise gives you more energy, even for new parents who don't get much sleep. Both my wife and I would feel like shit if we didn't have our workouts in for the week. I really miss sleeping though and I can't wait until I feel 100% well rested. Now, everything I mentioned wasn't very different than before my kid was born, but my physique improved a lot. My waist slimmed out, my muscle definition started to show more, and even my abs started to show again on some days. And the reason for this is that I was eating a lot less, because there was simply no time to eat sometimes. There was also a lot less time to snack, and there was zero snacking at the office, unlike at home, where I could have easily procrastinated with a random bite to eat. Time is so precious now that I am not trying to take breaks to distract myself with food or eating out of boredom. And more interestingly, there were some days where by the end of the day, I would be so drained that by the time my son went to bed, that when it came time to eat, I was so apathetic for food that I didn't even care to eat. On those days, I would just focus on at least getting my protein in at the very least by throwing a steak on the pan or having some Greek yogurt with some berries. Oh, and I also started drinking coffee regularly, which I never used to do. So that was clearly acting as an appetite suppressant sometimes. However, I generally make it a point to never have coffee immediately upon waking, but more so, I wait around an hour after waking so I don't use it as a crutch where I have to have coffee to wake up. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight as to how I've been staying fit and why I don't have a dad bod despite having an infant. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know your thoughts to help with the algorithm. And also, I genuinely care to read your comments. If it's your first time here, please remember to subscribe and click the bell. If you're not new to my channel, you can now be a member by clicking the join button to support me in a whole new way. And if you work from home and are trying to figure out how to stay fit, check out my work from home fitness program. The link to that and anything else I mentioned in this video is in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the comments section. I've missed you guys.